What is up guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be going over a month review of my affiliate website So what I earned this month, what I did this month to earn that and whether it's growing and what I'm going to do next If you've been in the reddit just start forum you would have seen I've done a couple of these case studies before written So I thought why not do them in a video format too So let's start with analytics and money and this month I earned £824.22 total income with 746 of that coming from affiliates and then 77 pounds of that coming from Ezoic ads. As you can see over here, these little tables represent October to January right now. I didn't actually ever record before that, which I'm kind of annoyed about, but it is what it is and we're doing it now. So all good. So like I said, this month we had 21,000 new users to the website and last month we had around 20,000. Now considering everything that's happened this month, I'm actually really happy with that figure. Although it doesn't really look like a lot, it is a lot considering everything that ha that's happened. As you can see last month as well, we made £911 total income. I was expecting it to drop this month because the Christmas terms have gone and the Black Friday terms have gone. So I was expecting it to go back to October where we were like £307 a month. But it hasn't gone back there and I couldn't be happier because that was not a fun month, let me tell you that. These last two months have also made me realize that I need to diversify my forms of traffic because if I just rely on Google, then I'm absolutely screwed. So last month, I basically put all of my time, energy and focus into pretty much YouTube and also, I put a lot of time and energy and focus into Instagram, TikTok, all those types of different social media to actually diversify the amount of traffic that I'm getting from different sources. I've also focused a lot on building something new because I've realized I don't really enjoy what I'm writing about at the moment. It's not that I don't enjoy the market inside and the figures and the statistics, but I don't really enjoy what I'm writing about so I've decided to build something new and outsource a lot of the content to my writer. I think this also came about as well because I've started to realize that the niche although is profitable is not as profitable as other niches and I could be doing a lot less work for a lot more money in other areas. Just to put it into perspective the niche on YouTube earns six dollars per a thousand views. Now to compare that to finance or business business or finance videos earn around 25 to 33 dollars per thousand views that's a huge difference so you can kind of tell that adds up with website revenue as well so i've decided to focus on building new things rather than focusing on just this because i can see there are a couple of competitors in my niche that have reached the level of media vine and 100,000 visits per month and they're earning a lot of money from it but i think there's kind of a limit to how much you can earn and that's simply just because the niche isn't really as profitable as other ones and that's fair enough so you're probably wondering what did i do to actually get those views this month and what did i do throughout the month to continue growing my online income so let's go through that and on this plugin on wordpress you can get it it's called wp word count it basically just adds up all the words that you write on your website now sometimes this is a bit inaccurate so i add up every single article that i do each month i manually go into the posts and i just add it all up and this month i had 10,000 words to do on my business priorities list and we smashed 16,000 words next month I want to try and get that up to 20,000 words because I'm giving a lot more content to my writer now so I can actually free up time to focus on other things so we did 16,000 new words as you can see the total words on the website right now are 169,806 my calculations are 161,243 of published articles and that's from me adding them all up so my plan is to kind of diversify where I'm getting the traffic from in the search results by producing so much quality content that Google picks me up for a lot, a lot of number one terms. That means if I lose a couple of terms, it's not the end of the world. And also with the diversification of the YouTube I'm doing and the social media, this will kind of build a more steady flow of traffic each month. So that's my plan. 
I just was a man with a plan. I also did take a lot of new top slots this month, like I said, and I'm gonna put my SERP rank tracker on screen now. Just to put it into perspective, the average kind of position it says right now, which is 867, was at around 14 to 20 last month and the months before. So we've really, really improved on the terms that I'm actually tracking for. And I'm 28 out of 36 in the top 10 for those terms, which is fantastic. Now, because I said I've been diversifying a lot, there's been a lot of shift in my work focus. So this month, I haven't been doing as many articles as I used to. I used to do around 1500 words a day. I'm now down to 600 words a day. And I'm focusing on more things like Instagram and TikTok, like I said. For the new YouTube stuff and diversification stuff, I had a plan on the business plan, which was to make one video a week. And instead of making one new video a week, I've actually completed 13 videos this month. Another thing I got planned for next month is to build a shop on the website. Now I understand, like I said, there's a limit on the amount I could probably make off affiliate income and off ad income. And I've understood that, so I'm gonna start a shop and I'm gonna sell specific products within my niche with my writer. I said to him the other day, we're both good at what we do in this niche, so why don't we create our own products, give them away for free, build up a massive email list, and then when we've got professional products, we can start marketing to these email lists and actually begin to form a monthly income of actually selling stuff. But that's it for this month review of my website and what I've been doing in general in my life and in my month. I don't really know, it's kind of like vlogs, isn't they? Can't kind of like find out what Harry he's done this month and his business and parts of his life but yeah that's the end of it thank you for watching this far if you did and if you did watch this far hit the like button please it helps out and also smash the subscribe button if you want to or you don't it's just down there down there subscribe and the little notification bell cheers bye bye